If you're looking for a reptile or amphibian that's very easy to take care of, look no further than the tiger salamander. These get a decent size, they eat just about everything. You don't need the fancy lighting that bearded dragons need, or really any additional heat source at all as long as you keep them in a warm room of your house. Get back here. And I'm going to show you how to set up a habitat for one. First, you'll need a large tote. I would recommend at least 10 gallons of space per salamander. And you can either use a 10 gallon tank, or you can use a plastic Sterilite tote like this one with a lid. But just make sure, of course, that you have holes drilled in the side, or if you're using an aquarium, to use a screen lid. Now on the base of your enclosure, you need some sort of tropical soil, since they are wet. In case you haven't noticed, salamanders are always a bit wet because they drink through their skin, so they can't dry out. So the soil that I recommend is called Eco Earth. You can either get it in a bag, ready mixed, and you can throw it right in your container, or you can buy these bricks and you can mix them with water yourself. This is a little bit cheaper of a route, although there's one more step required. I mixed some with water earlier, so I have my bag ready. And we are just going to throw this in the bottom of our enclosure. And you need around two inches or so because the tiger salamander is a uh, mole salamander species, which means it loves to burrow and dig in the dirt. So get a, a pretty thick layer of this going. There we go, we've got our base layer of substrate. I'm going to rinse off my hands and move on to the next step. And in case you're curious on how much soil I needed just here, it was probably about a third of, or probably about two thirds about, of one of these bricks of Eco Earth, just to give you an idea. Now you need some things for the salamanders to dig underneath and to climb on and under just to feel secure. So I use a combination of caves that you can buy at the pet store half logs, which you can get just about anywhere. And I also give them some foliage that they can kind of weave in and out of, and again, burrow underneath. And of course, we need a large water dish that's big enough for them to soak in. And since I have city water, I have to dechlorinate it quick. And now you're ready for your salamander. Change the bedding about once a month or so. Make sure they have clean water. And a tip on acquiring these guys, I would highly recommend getting your salamander from a breeder rather than taking one from the wild. Not only could a wild caught salamander have parasites, but the wild populations are hurting enough as it is, so we really don't need to take any more from the wild um, if they're already out there. So just leave those ones be and grab one from a, from a breeder. Because salamanders have very sensitive skin, make sure you wash your hands before handling them. I recommend feeding your salamander every two to three days, and here are some things that you can try. 